Hi guys, Tori Mullen, Mullen Wellness Training, and Carrie's Hundred Monday. You know what that means? We're back on it. Monday. Remember last time when she shared and she was super excited? That was awesome. Kind of pushed <laughs> me back into this mix, and now here we are again, sharing with you guys today. We're about a month into January of 2021. Mm -hmm. I keep writing 2020 still. Right. <laughs> uh, one of the roughest years I would think in recent memory for all of us still dealing with the answers or trying to find answers of the challenges of the pandemic the mm -hmm. challenges of the information coming out I definitely rode that year rough for sure right? <laughs> and I think the thing we really wanted to talk about was maybe procrastination but not necessarily procrastination but what holds us back from starting mm -hmm. uh, because as a lot of people who've had success a lot of people that have gone to places that they needed to where they learned and in turn were able to share those experiences with others and provide value the biggest thing was and the most cliche thing you may hear is they just simply had to start mm. so did you want to share with the audience uh, maybe some of those personal things that you've been challenged with or you've been uh, you know fighting with in respects to starting mm -hmm. in the last little bit in the last little bit I would say the biggest thing is always just like fear because we've always been taught like what if this happens or what if that happens or it's just like a rejection aspect like what if people don't like what I do yeah but it's just like okay well if I always have that fear and I never actually do it then no one's ever going to hear what I have to say and it might not ever resonate when it needs to absolutely um so for myself I'll just go with my most recent I guess was I've been dabbling with the thought of getting into a podcast for quite a while now um I'm not a huge fan of always doing videos because well, Tori and knew this back in the summer when we first started doing more videos. I A, don't like myself on camera, and B, I don't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> I can second that motion. It took me a while to get comfortable with this. So yeah, we had to like get ourselves out of our comfort zone to even get into that little whatever that was. And every time he would like start to film me doing something, I would just get awkward and clam up or mess up what I was saying. And I would just kind of be like, meh, I don't want to do this. Mm. Um, so yeah, back to me starting a podcast. I essentially just decided at the beginning of January, now that I had more time than I used to, I was like, I'm doing this. I'm going mm -hmm. to do this podcast. So I literally went out, bought a microphone from a local music store because support local. And, um, I just went for it. Got all my artwork, got all that, signed up for podcast making things, and just recorded a trailer and started recording podcasts. And I literally didn't think that even in my first two podcasts, it really would mean anything to what I spoke to. Wow. Um, and I got a message the other day from one of my friends saying how much she absolutely loved the podcast and how much it resonated for her when she needed it and right. I was like oh shit like what I'm doing even though it's not necessarily executed very well I'm just going out and doing it and it's reaching people for when they need it the most so yeah. well I mean you never start and you never yeah well I mean that's the thing I think when we get caught up in this cumulative process of thinking we're not enough or mm -hmm. we allow fear to take over um, we we resonate with that and we we create a cycle behind it 100%. it's easier to stay within that fear base and stay within the comfort zone mm -hmm. and I know for a lot of us we really want to get out of there and you know how important it is for us to do that so again I mean with all the videos that we've made recently and the input I've allowed or the mentorship that I've allowed when you're stuck in that rut or you're stuck in that cyclical issue, you have to draw you know, deeper than within or why you feel like you're not enough because if you find your why and your purpose and your why and your purpose is formulated with changing the world or influencing and 
creating courage for people, if you focus on that and you execute on that wavelength, a lot of the times you will persevere or push through some of the fear and then you get exactly what Carrie is describing. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you take it outside of what you need and you focus on serving others or you focus on what the end result is, like if I persevere through this fear, I push through you know, making a video or push through making a podcast and I simply do it, you never know who you may affect or you may mm -hmm. influence. And the unfortunate thing with the accumulation of the pandemic and all the fear and all the uncertainty behind it, mm -hmm. our human connection has been, you know, challenged mm -hmm. or it hasn't been uh, valued as much. Mm -hmm. And that's all put us in our own little world and our own little thought process. And we've been isolated to consume that type of information. And if you keep allowing that into the space, then when you show up for people, if you are showing up on FaceTime or even calling them, you're gonna bring a bad vibe and a bad energy because you're just so uncertain. And I personally have been dealing with that. Um, and I know Carrie has, and I know a lot of you have. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why we really wanted to make this video was, what is truly stopping us from starting? I think there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, it's usually gonna be an external thing, right? Uh, <laughs> no doubtedly the last year has really taught us that external forces can affect us mm -hmm. more so than others. But one thing we always um, maybe not consider is the accumulative effect. It's not like one day we woke up and we were fearful. It's usually an accumulation of these things, mm -hmm. you know, programming that we might have had when we were younger from people that uh, might have said, don't do this or you shouldn't do that. And, mm -hmm. You know, the, the information that was allowed for us in respects to, you know, find a job, do what your employer says and this and that. Yeah. It's like the cyclical shooting right. on everything. Right. Yeah. And we get caught in these cycles, but yet we don't really feel like that's our full existence or our full power, presence, or potential. So we seek out people that are mentors or gurus that simply just did what we are all destined to do or we all have the capability to do, which is simply just start and make mistakes mm -hmm. and sit with those failures and resonate with the failure and when you sit with that said failure not dwelling on i failed but dwelling on oh what did i learn here yes yes what can i do differently next time if i don't have the answers then you've actually come to another pivot point where now you're sitting well i don't have the answers but here's a person who does mm -hmm. i just have to follow in their footsteps and take some of their advice so you're already way ahead from where you sat and said well should i shouldn't i well maybe i shouldn't because of blah 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 as mm -hmm. soon as you execute it and maybe you failed, from there you're already taking a step up into the next step of, okay, well, this is how you don't do it, or there's some things that are good here and I need to work on those other things. What about if I now search for somebody who has the results I want or is speaking in that truth or speaking in that vibe? Oh, I'll go follow them. I'll follow what they're doing. That's essentially why we're sitting here. Mm -hmm. It's not something that was brand new. It's not something that was, uh, we've invented, reinvented the wheel. It's simply just, having the ability to start, having the courage or having the perseverance to start and make mistakes if, if it is. And from there, it's given us so much power and presence or it's given us so much learning and opportunity to continue our growth, but we mm -hmm. simply had to start. And it's awesome that Carrie was able to share a specific vehicle. For me, uh, the challenge with the you know, the pandemic was I, I really resonate or connect with people one on one mm -hmm. um, in person because yeah. of the rapport I can build and the friendships that I formulate. Now, transferring that same energy or that same vibe for me and the standards that I hold for myself is imperative as I shift to online. Mm -hmm. And that's been my biggest fear, my biggest barrier as of late. I don't know how to translate that same expression or that same experience online and it's something that's unknown to me. So I've been kind of fearful with everything going on to really execute and follow the education or the insight that could make that possible. But ironically enough, as I'm going through the challenges of those things and setting myself up for opportunities to succeed or fail, in no sense failures, it's led us into things like this, mm -hmm. right? It's led us into things that have allowed us to still speak with transparency and still speak with uh, hope and courage 
and that in turn will still find value for somebody that may be at that point or that pivot point or that stage in their life. Mm -hmm. So we can't stress enough, Carrie can't stress enough, I can't stress enough how important it is to simply start. Mm -hmm. And with that courage and that transparency to just go out there and do something, you never know where that path they may take you because mm -hmm. it's going to encourage somebody, it's going to provide perspective, it's going to provide um, hope for somebody who's still sitting in that spot of should I, shouldn't I, should I procrastinate, should I feel fear, fearful. Mm -hmm. They're simply going to see you with the curse and be like, well, if they could do it, I can do it too. Yeah, I think just to wrap this up, overall, like, take a look at what you're fearful of. And this is the call to action. Yeah. You are going to stop shutting on yourself and go out and do. Just yeah. go do it. See what yeah. happens. Yeah. You never know if you don't try. It's like practice makes improvement, but everyone expects it to be perfect on the first try. Right. And if you allow that input in, and unfortunately, if we look at the, the commonality or the common narrative, that's what's been projected upon us mm -hmm. or expected of us. And if you continue to input that, you will sit in that place where you don't make actions. Mm -hmm. So remember, there's people out there that will actually push you through that fear-based thing. And a lot of the times, they're simply going to tell you to just simply start. That's me. I'm a pusher. Yeah. Go do it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's myself as well. And remember, as Tony Robbins said, you're that much farther than the person who hasn't started if you've simply started. Right, it, it, that's, that's so cliche, but it's so true. From where you start is way ahead of the part of where you may doubt that you need to start or you may be fearful as to the reasons why you shouldn't start. And if I could leave any parting gifts like I share with all my videos, don't focus on the how-to or I need to and all that jazz. Find out what your manifestation and your why and your purpose is. Because when you find that and you're so connected to that, the times you feel fearful, you step out of what you're holding in inside as to the reason why you can't, and you realize that you're serving others mm -hmm. and you're serving your higher purpose and your higher self. So if you connect with that and you're consistent and committed to that, you'd be surprised how many more times you could push through some of those fear-based moments where you may talk yourself out of mm -hmm. one of the most important things you're gonna do for your life and how much value you're gonna give to yourself and to others. Yeah. So that's what we definitely wanted to share today. It's a month in, are we still staying hungry? Are we still sticking with our goals for the year? Even though there's lots of challenges out there, I'm feeling the effects. I'm pretty sure my friend here is feeling oh, yeah. the effects. Yeah. <laughs> but can we come together? Can we still simply push and just start somewhere? Because I'm telling you, when you start somewhere and you ask for help or you ask for support and you have the courage to do so, the network builds, the teamwork builds, and the human experience can take you to places you never thought possible. So, yeah, 1% better every day. Absolutely. So that was our Mindset Monday. Start. We've started. Um, I hope you're starting. If you need some help on where to start or you want to give us some insight of where to go, we're definitely open to that. That's what this is all about. It's transparency and helping one another. So hope you guys have a wonderful week. Keep 2021 on turbo mode. <laughs> keep rolling. Keep fighting. Just be careful, turbos break. Yeah, no doubt. Service it properly. <laughs> Bye. See you later.